What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. Continuing along. So I checked, and we can just fast travel straight over to Seer. Uh, but looking at the map, there's a spot over there that I haven't hit. I mean, it's like, it's right there, so I'm kind of like, eh, well, since it's right there, we'll do it real fast. Just because I'm curious what it is. So we're going to run on over there, check that out, and then uh, from there we will get back on track. I'll probably come back here and fast travel. Um, but also, I wonder, like, the run back, there might be dialogue or something, so, you know, we'll see. Okay, yeah, this is that route. Man, I could have taken the zip line, but I remember seeing this before and being like, I wonder where this leads to. So, oh, I see what it leads to. See, this is why we don't just fast travel straight back, because I would have missed out on the... On the... On the... Skill point. Missed out on the skill point. See a little red spot. Let's stop. All right. Uh, skills. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. I think we actually got this already. So yeah, we have that. That's completely finished. I, d I mean, I don't know. At some point, but I don't need that really. Uh, don't care about confusion really. Telekinesis, we're good. Jedi Concentration, we're good. Oh yeah, I was talking about picking up the cross guard thing just because, like, why not? I, I didn't really think it looked that cool, but it's like, you know, I might as well have it. Uh, so we'll go our next singular point there, and then I guess Blaster Tree? You know, it's crazy, at the start of the game, um, you know, seeing seeing how much there was in the skill trees, initially, I, I was like, oh man, this is, you know, this is a lot. And, you know, kind of immediately I felt a little overwhelmed by them. Steady, and steady. now that I'm actually... Alright, so actually we just run straight to the desert. We'll just fast travel back. Uh, now that we're kind of getting into it though, and I have like, you know, my one weapon tree, my health, my force, I'm kind of like... Okay, I actually have probably... What did I miss you? I have more than enough skill points to get by. Let's go. I remember there was a green. Is that one? It? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, hang on. I think, I wonder if I can jump up to get to it though, because it's in there, and it's up top. I think of the fastest way to get there, can I just like double? Oh, yes I can, alright, let's make things easy. What is behind the green portal? Just that one piece. Right, let's go talk to Seer. Seer. I couldn't save Armaius. He gave his life for this. I'm sorry. I know you did your best, Cal. And the Empire? 
They did not track us. Hey, Scrapper. Glad you made it back in one piece. Master Cordova, did you find a way across the abyss? No. But you may have, Cal. Boat and I were able to find some interesting data in the archives. Let's show them what we dug up. Centuries ago, the Republic established the colony on Kobo to study a stellar anomaly known as the Abyss. Santari Cree led the research team. That sea with them. Early attempts to navigate the Abyss ended in disaster. The Republic was on the verge of abandoning the project. And then guess who volunteers to fly in alone and discovers a planet on the other side? Dagon. Using the data from his voyage, Cree invented the Abyss Compass to guide others safely to Tenor. The Republic established a settlement. The Jedi built a temple. Just like you said, Cal. Regrettably, a time of peace and prosperity was disrupted when Outer Rim Marauders invaded. I saw them, too. But how'd they get across the Abyss? They must have stolen a compass. Don't worry, we won't be so careless. Overwhelmed, the Republic abandoned Tenelor, and the Jedi Council ordered Creed to destroy the compass. Dagangera refused and rebelled against the Order. That is a Gendai. They do not often ally with other species. Looks like Ravis has been working with Dagon for a lot longer than we thought. So the Order sent Jedi to secure the compasses. Dagon murders them over it. Jedi. Killing other Jedi. But Centauri said that Dagon was the key to Tantalor. Maybe he is young Jedi. Despite my efforts, those compasses you brought me were beyond repair. However, records indicate that three were unaccounted for. So you're saying one might still be out there? Yes, and Dagon sent his army to look for it. <laughs> I'd ask you to stay and help us, but I recognize that look. Well, look. Hope. That planet could be a haven for those who stand against the Empire. So you coming with us? I mean, Grease can make room on the Mantis. For all of you. No. This place needs me. The Hidden Path needs me. Cordova? I'm sorry, my friend. But for now, my place is on Jeddah with Seer. Let me prepare a Davis stick so you'll have access to our research wherever your journey takes you. Let me guess. You're staying too. When we first met, I thought that what we shared was... unique. Survivors. Fighting together against the Empire who took our families. realize I wasn't alone. As did you. But there is a galaxy full of people who have suffered as we have. It's as Seer said. Perhaps you have found a sanctuary for them. Perhaps. If we can get to it. I will join you. Besides, it's been far too long since I've made Grease's hair stand on end. See you back on the Mantis night, sister. That's nice. For a second I was like, man, straight nobody is coming with this. This is whack. If nobody got me, the night sister got me. There's a couple of areas off the top of my head that I'm thinking of uh thinking that we visit now that we got the um, the go through blue or go through green. Now the Marin's with us. We can go back to Coruscant. Exactly the cleaning types. I cleaned this morning. Wait, did I? No, I didn't. <laughs> That's on me. Marin, 
I didn't know you were coming. Hey, maybe I'll pick up some SCA steaks. Why'd you join back up anyway? Seer and I believe Tantalor could be a refuge for those persecuted by the Empire. Persecuted by the Empire, huh? Gotta get crowded. That was weird. My controller wasn't working for a second. I was like, why is my camera not moving at all? I'm also unsure of why they wanted us to go back to Coruscant. Welcome to Kobo. Cal! Cal, so glad you're back! You missed all the action! He was horrible! Did something happen? The Raiders paid us another visit. Took a shine to that droid you found. See? They took her, Cal! Carried her right out! She's been droid-napped! My saloon better be okay, Turgle. I think you brought this down on us! I'm innocent, Mr. Grease! Promise! Dagon sent them. He's after Tantalor. There must be something more to Z than we realized. Something scrambled up in her memory bank. We have to rescue her. Once he gets what he wants, he'll scrap her for sure. It won't be easy to get her back. The raider base is in the swamp. They gutted an old Luker Hulk battleship from the Clone Wars. We've seen it. Means they got a lot of firepower. As do we. She's right. Now's our time to move. I like where this is going. They already have what they came for. They're back at their fortress feeling safe, complacent. They'll never see it coming. Maybe not. But if you're wrong, then they'll be looking for payback. Not to worry. I will stay here and look after Grease and the others. You sure? I think you two can manage. Just don't let him swim without supervision. Let me know if you need help. My sex. Name's Mosey. Marin. All right. I'll scout ahead. Meet you there. So I wonder why did they want me to go to Coruscant? Maybe they were just pointing out that, like, with, uh... Yeah, because I can't board the show. No, I can Let me, let me pull this up and just look. Maybe it was just pointing out that I can go to uh, Coruscant now that I have next. Marin. Luke or Hulk, the Shattered Moon. Coruscant, planet map. 80% explored. Locked door. Stuff down there. Oh yeah, there's all sorts of doors that I can shoot through now. That seems like a free roam thing. I mean, especially since the planet itself is 82.2, I don't see like a necessary reason to... For me to go back, you know, that's that's something we'll just we'll do in some uh, spare time. I swear, at some point I'm gonna stream this game, but it's just hard, man. It's, it's like I got the. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure I've decided I'm just gonna. I'm probably gonna stream all of Tears of the Kingdom. The thing is, like, so my my concern was if I'm doing Tears of the Kingdom. A sh stream, I don't have anything for episodic content. But you see, this episode, like by the time y'all see this, Tears is already out. And I mean, I'd assume, well, let's, let's, you know what, let's Google it. Let's find out. Let's see. Chapters. Jedi. Jedi Survivor chapters. Uh, how many chapters are there in Jedi Survivor? Uh, okay. Chapter, according to this thing, chapter 4.3, The Luker Hulk. That's where we're about to go. And looking at this list, I'm about halfway through this game. Now, assuming some chapters are faster than others, because that's, you know, certainly the case. Either way, I, I can't I can't just start start Zelda episodes on top of this. I ain't got no time for that. There's no time. Which means I should stream Zelda and just keep playing this for now, because I'm having fun recording this for episodes. You should shut up. I'm busy talking. And then I think I'll, I'll if, I, if I still need an episode after it's done, maybe I'll... Um, I might do, um, I don't know, maybe I'll, maybe I'll Elden Ring Convergence, I don't know. I wanted to give it more time in the oven, but the good thing about Convergence is I could play it now and then come back and play it later, and it would probably be a different experience. In fact, I'm pretty sure I did that. That's the stuff below me. Now I'm also curious. Let me, we're going to Google that as well. Let's see. Convergence. Show all. Videos with convergence in the title. I'm pretty sure I did two playthroughs of convergence, or was it? Is there a different mod that I did? 
Oh, whatever. Let's take... Oh, there we go. Loaded. Uh, let's see. The... No, there was a different mod. I only did one playthrough of Convergence, it looks like. I wonder what the other mod was that I did. I know I did a couple Dark Souls 3 playthroughs with various mods. Sounds like a super force push. I mean, I could always find a couple of different indie games and do like mini series. Mini series. We did with Dread. That was fun. That was a really fun let's play. Moving to sector. Wait. What's that? Looks like it's from the clone. It's incoming! about i just did a heavy attack cut his shield clean in half and he just went well <laughs> nothing i can do <laughs> like dude was just like ah, i'm uh, i'm fucked i guess <laughs> oh that hurts that hurts i've been doing like a lot of abs at the gym lately and it hurts to laugh oh man <laughs> oh that, that may be my favorite movement so far in this playthrough <laughs> It was just so, so, uh, just so frank and upfront. Oh, well, <laughs> oh man. I mean, there is a couple nice. like small indie games I could probably play, stuff like uh, Amnesia and all that. It's just my thing is, uh, every game I see that's coming out, I'm like, oh, you look like a good stream game. You look like a good stream game. You look like a good stream game. Oh, you're definitely a stream game. And my thing with Zelda in particular is, like, Not Zelda is... That. It's very aimless, personally speaking. Like this, you know. Like this episode, I'll probably title, like, Return the Codes to, to C. But even then, Journey, you know, Rescue Z from the Luger Hulk. I have main objectives. I have a, a mission flow that I can follow. So it's it's easy to name episodes. When I'm, if I'm playing uh, Tears of the Kingdom, what am I going to name the episode? Part 13, Exploring the North center left part of the map near the volcano like you know it just doesn't it's not the same Baseball bat that shit back at him. Oh shit. BD, here. Two big boys. Fight by my side. Not a threat. Bad 
that shit, buddy. We'll fight together. Easy, dubs. We can trade this at Doma's shop. It's a fun little side adventure. The Empire's really cracking down around here. Get, go through a uh, one green barrier. Their sights on the outpost. That's just like. Man, I'm going off. Ah, but now there's the electricity panels, and I don't know how to do those. Visibility is pretty bad. What if I get? Do I get force lightning? It's too Sithy of a power. I think we I mean well Is that an Imperial shuttle? I don't know why they were flying in such poor conditions. Wanna check it out? I'm seeing a lot of the lightning stuff, so I think I'd probably come back here later. So I'm pretty sure that's an ability I just I pick up. Let me go over here. I wanna try blaster customization. Uh blaster I haven't done this at all. Indicator combustion. I kind of like the long barrel like that. Kind of has a almost like a trigun type vibe to it at the moment. I don't know if any other barrel that does not. This one looks a little too spacey, and that one definitely looks like a little flamethrower, so we keep you. No, maybe I do go for the more rigid look. Ergonomic and effective. Hmm. No, I don't know. I... Eh. I wish I could change out the handle grip. Oh, no, I can. Oh, there we go. I one of those. There we go. Okay. Nice metal, unique metal. Oh. Pull up the, uh, All right, we're gonna try and make it look like the gun from Trigun. Even though that's a double action, I believe, and this is a single. Uh, so primary, <clears throat> starter metal, light metal. Stainless Dura Steel is probably close. Is that or the silver alloy? Yeah, I don't know if we're going to get anything close to that. That's like a, a matte hard plastoid. Warm metal, light metal. Okay, and then the secondary color. 
That's the barrel assembly. I think I'm also going to do that. I want that to match the silver alloy. For the accent line, that's where we're going to pull in like black. It looks pretty close. Not it's not this. not exactly it, but uh, you know. Not your typical blaster. Not at all. No, it is not. Uh, so where do I do the customization? Is that ability related? Remember, I picked up. Hmm. I picked up that that thing that um. A stun for my blaster. Hang on, let me see. We're gonna Google one more thing. Uh, customize blaster shot. Star Wars. How to change the blaster shot. Meditation point or workbench. Head to the stances page. Well, hang on, we're at the workbench already. If I go workbench, stances. Charge shot, change stance, change shot. There we go. Okay. Uh, now I got the trigon theme stuck in my head. <clears throat> um, so we have the charge shot. Oh, that looks busted. At least a stun dart that paralyzes enemies. Bzz. Yeah, let's put that on. That seems sick. Controls must be elsewhere. All right. Well, I don't think I can. I mean, I'm sure I can do some of this but with the electric stuff. I'm seeing one there, two there. I mean, let me just let me see what happens if I like run. Whoop. Yeah, we're not going anywhere. Um, and I assume that's the way I go. Unless I go this way. We're just gonna take a quick, quick little gander here. I'm, I'm, I'm saving this area for later, more than likely. Must Very. be thriving here once. Yeah, now it's just a like town. Spooky city. Keep your sensors running, BD. I don't trust this place. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's one of those things. I don't know, man. Something about this place is off. Jump backwards. Oh, am I dead here? A little help, bud. God damn, I just beat my ass. Off. Yeah, if we need we need this is like a whole fresh ass episode of this area. I'm going in here yet. I don't know. I don't think I can do the lightning thing. I don't think I should be here. I don't I don't think I should be here. Um I don't know. Either way, we are at 30 minutes. Just about, so we're gonna wrap things up. I'll probably go back on track and save this whole, this new area, this fog expanse zone for later. Uh, but I'll, I'll think about it a little bit. Either way, wrap it up and I will catch you guys next time as we continue.